what? Because it's Briar 626 here, and today we are going to be unboxing one of the coolest sets I think so far, and that is the Bakugan Resurgence starter set with the Darkest Hydronoid Ultra. Yes, I said Darkest Hydronoid Ultra. Yes, Hydronoid is back. Our good old boy from Bahugan Battle Brawlers back in the day. Oh, it's back. We finally got our Hydronoid back in the Darkest Faction. Now, we already got the Pyrus one, and there's an Aquas one out there, and I think a Ventus, um, and a bunch of other ones. But we've got a, a Darkest one. Yeah, I'm so excited for this one. This is this is one of the coolest Bahugan I've been waiting for. Uh, getting unboxed is this Darkest Hydronoid. This is so cool, and this is the only way to get him is through the starter set. You also got the uh, Pyrus um, Nilius, and then it looks like I think that's Gortheon. Yeah, that's Gorth uh, Gortheon. Aquas Gortheon. Now, in this box is really cool. This is a whole starter set on like a, basically a starter deck, um, and like Pokemon Yu Yu terms. This is a starter deck. Um, you buy this, you get your three Bahugan, you get the uh, cores that you need for it, the deck, and everything just to basically just straight up play if you want to do a quick play with your friends. Um, this is the coolest thing. Now, the Bahugan Surges that I personally like a lot better than the uh, older ones because these come with some really good cards. Um, and these are great. Um, and uh, so this is what you get on the back. Of course, you got the uh, Hydronoid here, your Nilius and your uh, Gorthion, your six cores, your 40 card deck, and your three character cards that you need for the thing. And of course, a rule book and an instruction sheet on how to close up the uh, Hydronoid there. Um, really cool. I like this a lot. I'm excited for this guy right here. This is who I'm excited for. Pyrus Nilius is cool to get a Pyrus Nilius because now we have, I think, almost all the factions now of Nilius. I think. Sounds right. Yeah, I think that's the last one we don't have. So now we will have them all. Except for diamond, because I haven't got a diamond one yet. But I know there's a diamond out there. I need a diamond. Um, that would be great. Uh, but yeah. So, let's go on ahead, get this thing opened up, and, uh, you know, see what we get. Alrighty, so in this box, I moved my table and it did that. So, um, in this box, of course, you get like your little checklist of here of all of the Bahugan from wave 5 and maybe some wave 6 because I think Killian and this uh, Trunk guy is not to like wave 6. Squirpros, I don't think, is wave 6. Uh, Pandox is wave 6, I think. And I may be wrong. It may be wave 5, it's just a later wave 5 because um, only some things have hit shelves now, not everything. Um, so yeah, so there's some of those, and you got some other Bahugan down here as well, some like new ones like, uh, Zentor, Fade Ninja, Scorporos, um, the, um, Hyd uh, Hydronoid, and the, uh, Core version. Um, so yeah, and then of course here's how you close up the Darkest Hydronoid here, this is really cool. Um, shows you how to close them up, and he looks amazing in ball form already, I already know how to close them, because we got a Pyrus one already, that we did an unboxing of, um, but, you know, hey. Um, then we got the rule book, just a basic rule book. I don't think anything's really changed in this rule book. Doesn't look like anything's really has changed in it. Um, it looks pretty much about the same um, as the other ones. Um, so yeah, so I think like the more in de detail stuff is on the actual website, um, which is good. And then there's those rule books, so we'll stick that to the side. Um, and of course, you get your three Bahugan, your cores, your deck, and your character cards. Um, let's go on ahead and look at the character cards here. We'll go to the deck last, I think. Uh, or actually, yeah, we might go to the last. I don't know. So, of course, we get the Hydronoid Ultra here. Uh, this is the darkest one. He has two Helix cores, 503. So, not too bad. It's a good, uh, that's a good medium. And, of course, the uh, Helix cores are pretty good if you can get, like, the 500, the uh, 600 one. It, it's really good. Uh, then we have the Nilius Ultra. Now, this is a misprint. Um, this is not supposed to be in this set, which actually would work really good because they're two helixes. Um, but no, this is actually supposed to be the Pyrus Nilius core, which is this guy. The Ultra one will be looking like this guy, but in Pyrus colors, not the, the darkest colors. Um, so, which is okay means we get in this Bahugan, but it doesn't mean that we can use this uh, Bahugan though, because we don't have the stats for them. Um, luckily enough, they are online on like Bahugan Wiki, um, that you'd be able to pull up his stats and his cores and everything. And we get the right cores um, for that Bahugan. It's just not the not the right character card, which kind of stinks. Um, but Nilius Ultra is 203. 
uh, 200 uh, B power and gets double strike if you land on a helix core, um, which is good for that. Um, but I'll throw up the actual image of the Nilius core stats right up on the screen here so you can see um, what the actual stats for him is. I want to say he's a um, orange shield and a red fist. I think that's what that is because I think the next one, yeah, um, well, no, unless if he's two red fist. He might be too red fist. I don't know. I can't remember. It's on the screen. You look at it, and I'll tell you everything. Um, so there's that. And then we get Gorthion, the Aquas Gorthion here. Uh, that is a shield and a red fist 301. Uh, Victor, uh, you win, you draw a card, So which is pretty good. Uh, so which is really nice uh, with that. Um, so those are our characters that we have. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and just go over our cores here and see what we have. I'm going to stick the deck to this side here because those are really cool. Uh, so we have our helix core here which is minus 200 b power plus five damage so that's not too bad uh, then we have a 500 minus one good core the 600 minus three is okay as well um now of course we have shadow strike the, the minus one is not going to be bad but the 500 minus one is really good then we have the uh, normal shield here which is 300 which is really good uh then we have a red fist which is minus four another red fist which is uh 253 that's actually a really good one that's a good one to have and then another red fist of plus five. Um, so those are actually some pretty decent cores there, uh, which are good. Let's go ahead and look at the Bahugan here. Let's go ahead and start off with the Pyrus Nilius because this guy is nice. Um, so we got our Pyrus Nilius here. Uh, and then there is his arrow telling us to roll it that direction. Um, I think you could side spin him as well um, with the, uh, the magnet, um, which we'll try here in a second after he opens up. But that's okay. We'll show him off what he looks like open up and then we'll roll him. Uh, so there he is there. Pyrus Nilius, uh, which looks really, really good. Um, his B power is on the bottom, which is 200. So he does have a 200, um, which is good. Um, but uh, everything else is, I don't know, is his damage and stuff. But there's that. Got the orange legs, the orange toes, the, the eyes and stuff here, which looks really, really nice. I'm um, going to close them up. Boom. If I can do it right, there you go. And boom, boom, and boom. There you go. And then we're going to roll them. I'm going to side spin them just to see. Nope, he does a side spin. Okay. All right, so we're rolling ready, three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Wow, we can't even do it today. Ready, three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Okay, come on. There you go, we got him. He opens up, I rolled him backwards, so he uh, did that. Um, but yeah, so that is the Nilius core, the, the Pyrus Nilius core, and that's what he looks like there. He looks really good. Let's go ahead and get to the Aquas Gorthion here. Um, so there's the Aquas Gorthion, looks just like that. His arrow is right there saying to roll in that direction. So we're going to go ahead and roll. I'm actually going to move these cores here because I feel like it's better that way. Um, and let's go ahead and roll them ready in three, two, one, ball gun brawl. Boom. There you go. He leaps that forward. Get that leap action. Well, bam, attacks his opponent with the leap of the gorilla fist. Um, so yeah, so there he is. Um, now we've seen a bunch of Gorthion before, but this is our first one I've seen in Aquas that I have anyway. There's his 300B power. That's what he looks like right there. He's got the, the eyes there, the head that goes up and down, the arms, um, the body right there looks really good. Magnets right there so you can leap up uh, like so. Um, so it's going to close, close the head down, close the feet in, and boom, just like that. Pushes it all together, and there you go. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. I see how you want to do things. Okay, that's weird. There we go. That is weird. Doesn't want to open up now. That's odd. Huh. Let's see. That's very strange. Okay, there we go. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, that's kind of weird. It wasn't opening up. Um, now we get to the one, the only, the darkest Hydronoid Ultra. This guy is my boy from the OG days is Hydronoid. Uh, now... The original Hydro, I'll show up the images of the original Hydronoids, um, the three of them, uh, which are going to be down the screen. Uh, you'll see what he kind of looks like down there. Um, this is what I'm excited for. Um, this guy here, just because of that, because I mean, the original one looks really good. I'm actually was, um, working on trying to get the normal one right now, the one headed one. I'm working on getting it. Yeah, I know it's a pain. It's a lot of money, but I'm working on getting one um, so I can have them in my collection sitting next to my Nilius, my Core Drago, uh, which is the original Drago, and a bunch of the uh, other Nilius. My a lot of my older Bach gonna right there. I got some other ones uh, as well, um, but I want to keep those two, so I have those two right next to each other, which would be really nice. Um, so yeah, 
So there is that there. Um, this B power is at the very bottom here on this tail, which is 500. Now the heads here do separate. Um, sometimes you may have to just like push them down manually, uh, but that is what he looks like there. He's got the green eyes. Uh, looks very, very nice. I love the purple and black. I love those colors. Uh, and there's that there. This one seems a little bit stiffer than this one. This one seems pretty loose going up and down. Um, but they look really good though. I like the way that looks. Um, looks really, really good. Um, so yeah. So we're going to go in ahead and close this up. Because I know how, I mean, it's pretty simple to close up. You literally just throw those in. Those legs in the back. That goes, if I can get that there. That will go there. There we go. So there it is. That is the darkest hydronoid there. All closed up. Uh, so we have the heads there, which looks really good. I like those. I still like the heads. The heads like this is one of the coolest things I've seen on a uh, Bahu gun outside kind of like art. Looks so good. I love that look there. Looks really, really good. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that there. Um, and we're going to kind of roll them out. His arrow's right there, so I'm going to roll them that direction. So that's the direction we're going to roll them. Um, I've rolled them backwards. I've rolled them forwards before. I think forwards is still the best way for him um, as of right now. So let's go ahead and roll them. Ready? Three, two, one. Bahu gun brawl. Boom. There you go. Um, he did like almost a double flip. Uh, flip and a half. Um, so yeah, so that's what he looks like when he pops open. There. He does that good old flip. He's got that big old spring action uh, going in, uh, which basically just does that i mean he's just all spring right there that just shoots him up which looks really good i think anyway um so yes uh so that is the hydronoid there um we're gonna go ahead and stick him to the side here i'm also gonna be building a deck with him uh with nilius with nilius ultra i'll be building a deck with nilius ultra um the uh darkest uh hydronoid and also another bach gun which i know what it is don't want to tell you because i want to show you that deck once i get done uh, with that, um, it's going to be a really cool deck. I like it. Um, so for the concept of it, it's going to be really, really neat. I like it. So going ahead, let's get into the deck. Now the deck here is a 40 card deck. So you are able to directly pull this out, shuffle the deck and you'll be ready to go. Um, so our cards we get is deep dive. We got freeze, uh, which is two freezes, uh, two deep freeze, a dark waters, a mud pit, actually two mud pits, uh, which is good. Uh, then we have water to ice, another dark water. So we do get another dark water. So we get two of those, uh, which is good. That's a good card to get. Uh, dark waters and deep dive are really good cards to get. Uh, blinding ink, another good card. That's a good card to have. And you get two of those. Uh, then we got an aqua splash. Um, then we've got, there we go. Now we are getting onto some of the darkest cards because those are the aquas cards. So those are not too bad. Those are pretty good aquas cards. Now we get to the darkest cards. We get darkest snare. This is a good stop card um, to use. Then we have Sonic Shield, uh, which stops green and red. Another Sonic Shield. There we go. My boy Lightning. This was exciting when I saw this. Uh, we got Lightning here. Uh, the little puppy that gives you plus three damage for uh, whenever you open a Baku gun. This is really good. And then you also get two of them. Yes, you get two of those, which is really nice. Another Darkest Snare, so that's good. Uh, so we get two of those. We get one, uh, what is it, two lightning bolts? Yeah, we get two lightning bolts. We get shadow dogs here. We got these shadow dogs, um, which is really good. Uh, it's a pretty decent card. Um, so it lets you re-roll. You have to re-roll, but you get plus 400, uh, and your opponent has to discard two, so which is not bad. Then we get dust to dust. This is a good card here. I like dust to dust. Uh, for three energy, sacrifice you to discard a card to draw two, which is good. And you get two of those. Then we also get mind control here. This is an awesome rare. Uh, your opponent reveals their hand and you may play an action card from it for free gains the effect and put it in your opponent's discard pile um, Which is really good. It's basically just a card that you can activate from your opponent's hand Which is great and you only get one of those we get shadow cloak. We get two of those Darkest petrify we get two of those dark path. We get two of those now. Those are all the darkest cards um, Now we have the pyrus cards here uh, Which is constrictor we get an air zero. Yes, we get air zero in this deck. I, yeah, this is already worth the deck already just to get, first of all, get that. And then you get an air zero, which is like 12, 15 bucks, maybe right now, maybe 10, maybe $10 right now. It's a $10 card. So you're paying for it right now. And then you get two of those. So that's $20 you just got back from this back, uh, box. 
This box is amazing. I love it. Uh, then we have Flame Wave. We get two of those. And then we have another Constrictor. Oh my gosh. So, I'm just going to pull up the cards that I think is like really good in this set. That are worth buying it for. Um, let's see here. I think that's good. Um, and then we have those two. Uh, those two. And you only got one deep dive. I thought you could get another one. Oh, that stinks. I thought we had another deep dive, but I guess not. Um, so, these are the cards I think that's really worth buying this for. Uh, and you will be making your buddy back on it anyway. So you got deep dive, two dark waters. Um, then you have the two blinding ink, two lightning, the mind control, and the two air zeros. I think the air zeros is like what drives this a set the most is air zero and the hydronoid. Um, this is literally worth it. Um, this is worth buying if you haven't got this. This one's good. You get the Air Zeros, which now I have two extra copies. One going to be in a collection, and the other one's probably going to go in a deck once I open up the other ones, because the other ones come with some really good stuff as well. Um, like, really good stuff. I'm excited for it. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably even picking up another one of these just so I get another Hydronoid. Uh, because I want the other I want another hydronoid so I can have one and then you also get all these cards It's like crazy what it's worth. It's literally worth everything um, And of course just thing this box here. You can use it as storage I've been using it as either for cards or Using it to hold some of my extra bahugan that I don't have the uh, boxes for like this is my pirates and all my extra bahugan I've been opening up. Um, I've been keeping them in this uh, they've been in there for a very long time actually uh, so which is good um, So yeah, so that is our starter set with the darkest Hydronoid ultra. I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you click that like button down below And if you're new go to click the subscribe button and become a cousin in our family uh, And make sure you click that bell icon so you guys get notified of videos just like this one here because we'll be opening up the other two of this set here because there's three of them we're opening the other two in the next couple videos so you guys can get a chance to look at those decks um and then also if you guys want us to do a battle video using the starter decks the starter sets let me know down in the comments below because we'll try to do that if you guys want to see those where it's just no extra cards just a straight up starter deck uh and using that uh, to battle everybody, uh, to battle uh, other starter decks, I guess is, is the word for it, and see how good the actual starter decks are. Uh, of course, this will be changed if we use this one to the actual uh, one there, so we're not going to be cheating or anything, uh, so we can actually make it playable. Um, but yeah, uh, let us know down in the comments below if you want to see that, because I can get that, and we can do all three if you want to, and see, like, do like a, a mini tournament type thing, which deck is the better tournament, or whichever the, which deck is the best tournament uh, playable uh, to use. Um, and then we're we'll also be doing a giveaway right now uh, for the Diamond Bahugan of the Diamond Hydrus Ultra. Um, we're doing a giveaway on that. If you want to enter in that giveaway, click the link down in the description below so you guys can be entered into that giveaway to win that. And we're going to be ending it in a 12 day or what is it? 12 days, 11 days now. Uh, it'll be ending in 11 days. So. You need to do that, get that, uh, so you guys can enter in because it's the first ever Diamond Bahu Gun giveaway on YouTube anywhere. It's the first one ever, so if you want to win one, that's the way to do it. Um, so yeah, so remember, Ohana means family, and family zone gets left behind or forgotten, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!